Is it is it hard is it hard to be fresh if you don't have money or can you still pull it off? See, when I had no money, I still had sauce. Mm -hmm. See, if you don't got no sauce, then you, you, you're lost. Mm -hmm. But you also get lost in the sauce. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back for another video. We are working again on the assembly of this D16 engine. I got it back from the machine shop uh, yesterday. It looks good. The guy said definitely good thing you brought it to me because it was uneven when he was putting in the machine. He could see how much it was off at. I just went ahead and honed it out so that way it's got a good nice surface in there and then cylinder walls and got a good nice surface there for the good old head. Um, I also gave them the crank that way they could just give it a nice little polish and so forth. Um, but yeah, we're just going to go ahead and assemble it. That drive to Tennessee really, really put me back on projects. Um, this one needs to be finished. I got to finish this engine today. This week, I have to finish this car. Power steering, AC, K-swap, turbo car. You guys have seen me working on this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and knock everything out this week because I have all of the parts for it now. So I'm going to go ahead and knock that out. You guys can see that thing running, driving, and popping VTEC. And uh, then, once I'm finished with all that, we can get on to the good old dyno. I have it uh, anchored down already. I snapped one of the anchors and I had to weld a screw to it and get it out, but got it all out. So, I got it anchored down. I uh, just gotta go ahead and put the D-rings in. I got one finished. Whoops, I got one finished over there, one of the D-rings. Just need to go ahead and do them all. And then we're good. So, on the 26th of February, so on the 26th of this month, we are having a dyno day. So I want all of you who can come, I don't care where you live or anything, and I don't wanna hear the excuses, I want all of you here. So if you can make it, if you have the ability to, please come through. It'll be from 10 to 10, so it's gonna be an all day thing. And if we have enough cars and I can't finish them, like getting them all in the dyno, then I plan on doing Sunday too. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, the 26th, um, I'll put a little thing down here, I'll put actually the Facebook group so that way or the facebook event page that way you guys can go ahead and check it out so let's get to the whole reason you guys are watching this video and let's go ahead and assemble this d16 all right so i'm going to go ahead and get the pistons assembled uh once i get this assembled i'm going to go ahead and gap the piston rings real fast and then i'm going to go ahead and throw them in um, i'm not going to tell you guys what i gap them to because that's kind of like my little secret um, there's actually one video somewhere where I tell you guys what I gap them to. But all I'm going to say is you want to let them eat. You want to let it get some air. You want to let it breathe. Uh, because these single cams, you definitely want to let them breathe. Uh, very, very important. Uh, I'm not going to give away all my secrets because I do like to build these for people. Um, but I will give you guys like the how to, everything. But you know, I can't give away all my secrets. You know, it's been doing this for a while and I learned what works and what doesn't. So some of those I'm gonna keep to myself. But if you want those in your engine, you can always call me, you can call the shop number, and we will go ahead and build this engine for you. All right, so these things are ready to go in. Got them all nice and lubed up, got the burns in there. Now we just need to go ahead and slap them in. So I'm gonna go ahead and just slap her in. I got a ring compressor, or a spring, uh, piston ring compressor. We're gonna go ahead and put it in there and pop, 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 pop. But like I said, I'm not going to go too far into detail because you guys have seen me do this like a million times. But I am going to put the video right there for this one where I go ahead and assemble the full shingle dingle. But anyways, we'll go ahead and get into it. So let's go. So I was going to put the pistons into the block. Then I noticed that these rods are too big. They do not fit in the uh, cylinder walls. These uh, might be for a B series. I'm not sure. Um, but they do not fit in the standard bore of a single cam. Um, not real sure. I'm going to look up the part number on the box and see. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and call the customer and see what he wants to do. But these rods do not fit. So we're going to have to figure something out. Yo, so the customer came through. He got some in the box Speed Factory and no notch rods, which is going to be awesome. We're going to go ahead and throw these in. I never actually used those before. I was always cheap and I always had to cut out my girdle. But I do like those rods because anytime that you're grinding anything out, you're kind of losing the integrity of it. So pretty cool. I can just throw those in and then we can have a fully stocked girdle in there. I don't got to grind nothing. 
Um, but unfortunately, where I'm at right now with builds that I got going on, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the EK today. I'm not gonna record it just because I wanna get a good bit done. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on that, get that going, and I will see you guys tomorrow. We're gonna finish assembling that engine. So see you guys tomorrow. Alrighty guys, so it is the next day. It is time to go ahead and get this engine completed. Uh, once I'm done with this, I'm gonna go ahead and mess with my dyno. It has been here since like last week or whenever it was I uploaded that video. It was the day before, or the dyno video. So I really got to get in the ground. You can tell I've been starting on it. I've been drilling out the anchors. Um, it's all anchored down to the ground now. So the dyno ain't going nowhere. I just got to finish the D-rings and then I just got to hook up all the software and all that stuff. And I'll probably do that here a little bit later on today. But I first want to go ahead and get this engine done. Um, made great progress with the uh, EK. It's pretty much finished. I'm just having some issues with the power steering. Uh, I think there's some things I need to swap around, but that ain't gonna be nothing but a thing. And I'll probably do that tonight uh, or in the morning. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and swap out these big old scat rods, get them on the speed factory rods, and then we're gonna go ahead and throw them in. The good old switcheroo. Now it's time to get these pistons into the block. I went ahead and just checked before I even put it all together, made sure the rods fit in the cylinder walls, and they do. Good deal. So we're gonna go ahead and slap some pistons in. So I'll go ahead and slap all four in, and then I'll turn it over, grab the camera, and we'll go ahead and put the crank back in. All right, so the rods are all nice and good and tight. Go ahead, uh, when you're uh, putting them on, go ahead and get them finger tight, and then start uh, tighten them down evenly and then you're gonna go ahead and torque them down uh, these called for 55 foot-pounds of torque I know some of them are different depending on what ARP bolts you have so make sure that you have the right specs um, but anyways now I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, rest of it together get the girdle in there and this thing is almost finished then uh, the only other thing I need to do right now is I need to go ahead and shim the oil pump I got some stuff I'll go ahead and put that link in there. You guys have definitely seen me do that before. Uh, but besides that, I'm just going to get the oil pump on, rear main, and we're ready to rock. We're pretty much done with this short block. I just got to turn it over and we'll throw on the head. We are comb -polite. Uh The customer, I didn't put the valve cover on because he's going to actually paint it, so I didn't want to put the gasket on it uh, and waste it. So this is finished, good to go. Can't wait to see this thing making power. Uh, when he uh, get, gets the engine in the car, gets it all uh, broken and everything, then we're going to actually put this car on the dyno. So we'll go ahead and get her on the rollers and see how much power she's making. Um, sorry I didn't record this one super into details. Been running around, had a lot of other customer cars I've been working on and doing this, that, and the other. Still chasing that power steering issue that I'm having with that EK, but I'll get that figured out here shortly. But anyways, guys, go ahead and like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Is it, is it, hard, is it hard to be fresh if you don't have money, or can you still pull it off? See, when I had no money, I still had sauce. Mm -hmm. So if you don't got no sauce, then you, 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 you're lost. Mm -hmm. But you also get lost in the sauce.